What's going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today we have a little bit of bad lighting. You know, it's we need a uh, we need some more light bulbs over here in the Treeb Talk studio. Uh, this light right here, over here in the uh, lighting stand, does not have a light bulb in it. Um, because we needed a light bulb to fill in that light over there for the bedroom. And your boy changed the light fixture. You know, if you know anything about me, it's that I'm not very hands-on. I'm not very, you know, like mechanical, I guess. And the fact that I changed the light fixture is pretty impressive by my standards. So, everybody in the comment section, comment congratulations, Treeb, for fixing that light fixture. Now... Today, what we have for you is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Indianapolis Colts week number 11 preview. The return of Nick Foles, the man that barely played any downs in Jacksonville. And he threw a beautiful touchdown pass before he decided to peace out and call it quits. But we're going to talk about what difference Nick Foles makes to this offense. We're going to talk about how much the Jaguars really need to win this game in order to keep its playoff hopes alive. But before we get into that video, let's make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below if you think the Jaguars can beat the Colts and start making a playoff push with Nick Foles. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Indianapolis Colts week number 11 preview. So, first of all, it is obvious that the biggest topic of discussion for this game is going to be Nick Foles returning to Duval and making his first full game start. Hopefully, we're going to knock on some wood. But even then, I don't really think I'm knocking on the wood too hard because I got a lot of confidence in your boy, Gardner Minshew. So, hopefully, if he does have to come in, he makes an impact. But this should be Nick Foles' first full game in a Jacksonville Jaguar uniform. Now, my boy John Shipley over on Jaguar Maven, make sure you go give Jaguar Maven a follow on Twitter. There's going to be another Jaguar Maven podcast out. Uh, recorded tomorrow, should be out on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. But, you know, he released a lot of articles today talking to a lot of Jaguar players, and they talked about how they have that chemistry with Nick Foles, and they know Nick Foles' resume, and they know what he has done in the past. Now, like I said with John in our Jaguar Maven podcast, I have a lot of faith in, in Nick Foles, you know, during crunch time situations. But this is the Jacksonville Jaguars, so I'm not going to get my hopes up too high you know for the Jaguars to really make a run at it and go to the playoffs but if they need to go to the playoffs it starts right here and thank god we had a bye week following that Texans game I think the Jaguars really really needed that bye week after a tough loss after Gardner Minshew you know inevitably getting benched and you know they got that week of practice and that week off to get healthy and now they're back at it and they know they have another really really important game and this is where Nick Foles uh, Nick Foles strives and we've talked about that Nick Foles during crunch time Nick Foles in clutch moments whenever you need Nick Foles to step up Typically, you ask any Eagles fan, he does that. He steps up. He makes plays. He makes sure that he does what he needs to do in crunch time. And I hope he brings that same big dick energy to Jacksonville because this is a team that needs it. Gardner Minshew brought that big dick energy. Unfortunately, he kind of choked under circumstances. But we need that quarterback, you know, confidence still there uh, when Nick Foles comes back onto the field. And it really comes down to Foles. And it comes down to this game. Like, I don't want to sound too overdramatic, but if the Jaguars want a shot in hell in making the postseason, they need to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Now, if Brian Hoyer is their quarterback, I'm not 100% sure if Joby, Jacoby Brissett is going to be getting this start. But if we lose to Brian Hoyer with our playoff hopes on the line, I will literally cry. Live on stream, because I think we are finally making a stream return. My boy Jay Dang hit me up, and he got me, you know, right up in the feelings, saying, you know, we need to do another live stream with all the boys again, and I think he's right. So I think we need to do a little reaction stream, especially this game, because this could be the last meaningful game for the Jaguars. If not, then, you know, if they win, then they keep going, and then every game after that feels like a must-win. So this is a really exciting time to be a Jaguar fan, because, you know, watching these games... The Jags have to win in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. It kind of reminds me of the 2009-2010 season. 
uh, when David Garrard threw that Hail Mary to Mike Thomas, I believe that was a 2009-2010 season. You know, they, I think, finished the season 6-10 and 10 or 7-9. and nine. Uh, They were in it every step of the way. They had the chance to make it to the playoffs towards the end of the season, but ultimately, at the end, they choked. They didn't get the job done, and they didn't make the playoffs. It feels like that same exact season, they have a lot of talent on the field, and they are really progressing, and they're showing that there's a good amount of players on this Jaguar team that could make the Pro Bowl this season. You know, the Pro Bowl voting is open, so make sure you at least vote Leonard Fournette in. I swear to God, if, like, Le'Veon Bell gets in to the Pro Bowl over, like, Leonard Fournette, I will be pissed, because Leonard Fournette deserves that he's had a hell of a season. But there's a lot of talent on this Jaguar team. They have every chance to win and go to the playoffs, but you got to win out, especially, you know, with last week. Really, the Jaguars lost the bye week this week because every team that we really didn't need to win won. You know, you got the Raiders hanging in there. You got the Steelers hanging in there. You got, you know, the freaking Titans beat the Chiefs. Ryan Tannehill and the Titans beat the Chiefs. We're going to talk more about that on NFL picks, but... Ryan Tannehill beat the Patrick Mahomes-led Chiefs. Like, I cannot really even fathom that. Like, I cannot believe that that's something that actually happened last Sunday. So not a lot of things are going in the Jags' favor right now. And again, Nick Foles has been put in a situation like that. You know, not everything was in the Eagles' favor during the playoffs. What they do, they just kept winning games, going out there, winning games, making sure that everything is going according to plan. So, you know, you just got to hope Nick Foles brings that same energy. As for the defense, I think the defensive play is really going to determine this outcome and determine this game. You know, how the Jaguars are going to do is how well this defense is going to perform. If this defense, you know, shuts down Jacoby Brissett, shuts down all their offensive weapons, and plays smart freaking defense and Todd Wash, you know, actually schemes, this defense is going to be a very crucial part to this team's success. Because if they play good defense and they make sure that the Colts don't score a lot of points, then, you know, that puts, uh, that relieves a little bit of the stress on Nick Foles to put up a bunch of points, you know, to battle in a shootout. So, you know, that just helps the offense. And like we said again in the Jaguar Maven podcast, uh, John DeFell Lupo really scripted a lot of plays during the offseason to benefit Nick Foles and to really go with Nick Foles' game. And the Jaguars went all out for Foles. This was supposed to be their guy from the beginning. So I'm really hoping that everything just goes according to plan. That is what needs to happen. The Jaguars have the 25th easiest schedule remaining in the NFL. They don't have too many difficult games with the exception of playing the Colts twice. They play a sneaky Raiders team that I think could slither under the radar. And then they got like Tampa Bay. They got, I know Tampa Bay is one of them. Tennessee one more time too. That could be sneaky. Who knows with Ryan Tannehill. But they have the schedule there to kind of work something out to where they can reach the postseason. And, you know, these other teams that are kind of in the hunt have a little bit of a difficulty, difficult schedule. And this next week is really the week for the Jaguars to take this next step, to build towards taking, you know, a division leap. Because with the Titans winning last week, they can't win this week. And the Texans play Baltimore. So the Texans should get knocked down a peg, be down to four losses. The Jags are back, you know, to five losses. And then hopefully the Titans will be at six. And we are just building our way, finding our way back up to the division ranks. If the Jags win and the Texans lose and the Titans lose, the Jaguars find themselves second in the AFC South. So there's just a lot going on this game. Like, if the Jags play well and if the Jags do what they're supposed to do, they can make the rise all the way up to second place in the AFC South. One game behind the Texans. One game behind the Texans. But the fact that they already dropped, you know, that game to the Texans... Um, you know, they don't have it really anymore. And I think that's being, that's right. Because if we beat the Colts, that drops the Colts to five losses, I'm pretty sure. And then the Jags will be at five losses and the Titans will be at six. And the Jags got a head-to-head against the Colts and the Titans at that point. So yeah, that put them in second in the division. So this is going to make or break the season. The Jaguars are either going to be right here and really have an opportunity to make the postseason, or they could potentially be two games back in the AFC South. And that's the exact opposite 
of what you want if you're a Jaguars fan, if you are the Jacksonville Jaguars. So that's why I really want to stream this game, and I think I will be streaming this game, so make sure you come through to the stream. The season's on the line. Oh my god, what is Nick Foles going to do? This is going to be interesting. It almost feels like a whole new season is starting, and it starts with us hopefully beating the Indianapolis Colts, and I swear to god, I hope that happens, and if it don't, might as well kiss the season goodbye, boys. That's it. No more Treeb Talks content because the season's already over. Just kidding. Of course, there'll always be Treeb Talks content. And that was the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Indianapolis Colts, week number 11 preview. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Treeb Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Treeb Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to so get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel four days a week. Ain't nobody working me. Them to just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.